Can this really be the same cave the house spirit mentioned? Hello, Lars. Why did you run away? Our lands are a dangerous place for a stroll. The forests and rivers are teeming with ruthless creatures. The only ruthless creature here is you. To some I am evil. To others, I am their salvation. You will understand, in time. I never doubted your abilities for a moment. If you did run, it was only so that you could visit me here in person. Welcome to my home, Lars. You have become a man. The local population have gifted you some handsome silver in your hair. Stop stalling! Where's Ellie? Let her go now! Ellie is safe. The cave is sealed against unwanted visitors. We've been looking for you everywhere. Don't be afraid, come to us. Why should I go with them? What dark ritual are they so eager to perform on me? Maybe Ellie is somewhere nearby. I need to search the island. It's not sleeping, it's waiting to be brought to life. Without the butterflies, it's just a big scary ragdoll. So many books. Carefully stacked and stuffed with bookmarks. Tales from the treasure box? I... I know that book. Mother used to read it to me when I was little. A butterfly? That means there must be a girl here too. It looks like totally ordinary black tea. Another monster in the service of evil.
clay teapot with totally ordinary black tea inside. Small, well-honed knife. Looks like I picked the ripe fruit. So that's how bloodthirsty butterflies come into the world. It looks like I picked the ripe fruit. So that's how bloodthirsty butterflies come into the world. The tea didn't do anything, which isn't exactly a surprise. It looks like I picked a... Mushrooms, black tea flavored with unknown mushrooms. Feeling better? Maybe. I don't know. I'm shivering. All my muscles are cramping. I've got stabbing pains in my stomach. How did you end up here? Do you remember anything? <laughs> I have no idea where I am, but I remember her face clearly. Very young, but with an obvious furrow between her brows. As if this little girl is always frowning, even in her sleep. She watched me behind the tree for a long time. And after that, it's all a blur. Uh, her face is so close. She's reaching out to me. <laughs> Something cold and terrifying is holding my face from behind. And a little girl with a sweet smile lays something horrible on my tongue. Then there's a loud snap and it's such a strange memory. The whole world seemed to drain of color and I couldn't even close my eyes. I was just a witness trapped in my own body. All my senses shut down until only my sight remained and then it slowly faded away. I saw a forest and even a small river before my eyes were completely covered in a white film. Sorry, I completely forgot to thank you. Did you kill the girl? No, it seems she's gone off on her next hunt. Staying here is dangerous. We need to leave. Thank you. I don't know how to thank you. I'll rest a little while longer and then I'll go.
It looks like I picked a ripe fruit. So that's how bloodthirsty butterflies come into the world. Another monster in the service of evil. It might have been guarding something important. Hmm, is it all to do with the magic jar? Or did the butterfly think I was the owner because I'm the first person she saw? I hope this goon thinks I'm the new owner. 